Hi everybody, sorry about earlier I was having when I was trying to get this BB-8 my son ended up taking uh, mommy's uh, stamp book and got in a tantrum so I had to jump off. So I'm going to show you how this works. So I used to do this one over the app. I'm going to pop this in here, get it going. Uh, just like any other Spiro's apps, it needs a little bit to uh, hook up. You have to get it close up the sink uh, with the BB-8. Once it's all good, he'll uh, activate and turn on here. And uh, just so you know, all the sounds he's making stuff only work through the app. They don't work through the Spiro BB-8 to begin with. So I'll um, put on basically here. So we have the Bry one. Um, basically, the turnaround works like the regular Spiro here. As you can see, the regular tail light that turns around. It usually keeps up. What's so nice about this is his head actually will face the direction forward. The drive one's pretty simple. Just take your foot, you move him up. If he gets too dizzy, he'll do a little couple of things like that. Bring him back here. And he's actually got a couple of nice little coating bellies on here. Like, yes, no. He'll do a straight shot line. He actually can make a, and this is really fun. He'll do a perfect square or he'll do a figure eight, depending on things. And he's hitting my carpet right now, as you can see, he's trying to make a square. Once he gets out a little farther, I'll hit the one thing. So once he straightens up here, I'll straighten him up. I want to do the figure eight move now. And he'll do a little figure eight. Maybe away. He's pretty good at jumps and how, I mean, it's very durable, uh, device Sphero and everything else and you can change it. Now I want to go out of here and I want to go into the app Tickle. So I'm going to go into Tickle and I've done the setup already with BB. And it works very similar to other projects. So once I do here, so I got his command code right here. This is Ali. So one second, hit the wrong one, my fault. Got a love light. So let's go to BB-8. So I got my BB-8 here with, um, and basically the stack code works very similar. It'll double check, make sure it's connected. As you can see, BB's in it too here. Now what's also true like this is BB will actually switch colors to just like a regular Spiro. So I'm gonna hit here, I'm gonna hit a little command code really quick. Have BB uh, shake his head, spin. He's gonna change to a couple of purple colors and various ones that he's gonna go up and hit up 30 degrees. You're gonna get a little dizzy, move over to the side here. Hook it over here. And I basically just did it so he would do a pentagon. Uh, I built the code for him uh, using Tickle here. Uh, BB's normal thing, you can buy these for $149. They are from the Sphero collection. So um, you can actually change some things here. So let me do a little showing command here. So I have him turn right by 75 and do that. I can switch this out to turn left. I can have them move two times and for seconds. Now what I can do is I can do uh, another command code right here. So when he collides, I'm going to have it to where he will collide. And what I'll them do is we'll have him uh, shake his head about one time and do that. Yeah, you can actually because the magnet, hell, it's regular Sphero, as you can see, which is the main ball in color with the had magnetics and it activates it. So if you have the right activations, you can do this. As I know some people are working it for larger ones. So I want to hit the code again. So he's going to do his spin command. He's going to shake his head. doesn't want to do it. He's going to flash a couple of colors. And then he's going to turn left. Now if he gets hit, as you can see, he shook his head and turned around. He's going to go around to the side. He's going to come up back and around. He's going to shake around. And he's going to come over here. And I can turn him around. So if I don't like that, I can do that. I can reposition him real quick here. Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of cool. This is really fun. I'm going to big into coding and stuff and everything else. Okay, so I've turned him back around. I'm going to switch his spin one time for two seconds. Oh, hi, Kim. How you doing? So I'm going to read the BB here. So I'm going to activate him here. So there I am. I'm going to activate his tickle command. And then it should command code here. So he's going to spin one, shake his head. He's a little upset. He's going to change and flash a couple different colors. And then BB is going to turn right and go 70 degrees. He's going to go over the hole. If he hits something and his head pops up, he's going to get confused. And it's going to run off in a mad division like he lost his head. 
So now to reactivate, that's what's so good about here. If he next loses his head, basically just reconnects. Normal magnet. It'll reset. And he's ready to go again. So that's a little fun there. Um, I'm also looking into doing a couple other things. Um, the regular Sphero app will work on it too. BB works on his own ones, of course. I'm going to reactivate them here. So I have to reactivate them here. So I've got to resync them. So he's going to resync. And he's good to go. I'm going to put on dry. And now I'll, I'll turn him around and we'll send him on his way. I'm going to bring him back. So he's got some fun commands like this will make, so if I reset him here, he'll rebalance. And after that, I can make him say yes, no. Shake command. This one's really fun. He actually sneezes if I do this. Confused. Patrol look. And he'll straighten up. So there you go. So that's a little fun there. I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff with BB. And the next uh, weeks to go here, a little command and some explore like a pirate. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.